Hey everyone, today I decided to compile 5 tips that I think all beginners should know before starting the game. Some of these are going to be more general than others, although they're all useful to know. To start off, for every banner when using free crystals, only the first summon is going to have a 5 star guarantee. After that, for every free crystal multi summon, they're going to have regular rates. Only the paid summons have a continuous 5 star guarantee. For the rates, the 5 star guaranteed rates for both Albedo and Shell tier are each 4.2%, whereas the regular drop rate is 0.2%. That's a massive dip in rates, and it gets even lower for non-banner units. So best case scenario, paid summons will give you a higher chance to pull a unit. But since the rates drop off after the first free multi-summon, that means that for every banner, free-to-play players are going to want to do only one summon, unless they're pitying. Your odds are so incredibly low, it's not worth going beyond the first 50. Newer players should do the guaranteed 50 on every banner so that they can get as many units as possible, whereas older players should save it for units that they really need. Moving on, for any new players just starting the story, by completing chapter 5 you're going to unlock side stories. This will allow you access to tons of missions to not only earn a lot of crystals, but the ability to farm some fairly good equips, such as Arc Ignite or Almas Hat. For the third tip, by limit breaking a duplicate character, it will give you 500 elk, and when you limit break a unit that is already max limit broken, it'll give you a rainbow gem as well. What this means is that you're going to want to save every unit that you get. However tempting it may be to sell your units for elk to summon, it's not worth it. The only elk that you're going to be missing out on is going to be the very first 500 it takes for the unit itself. After that, every duplicate can be used on the original unit to give the same amount of elk as selling it. So make sure to save every unit possible because they'll become your main source of rainbow gem farming. For the fourth tip, if you're planning to farm a lot in multi with other players, make sure that you have your chat on before you host the mission. For some reason, the chat is disabled by default, and for newer players who have questions or need help, it doesn't help when the only form of communication is stickers. So make sure that you check the enable chat box before hosting a lobby. For the final tip, by limit breaking the equips, it will lower the equips countdown. This one's a little more obvious, but since a lot of the equips you'll get as a beginner won't be max limit broken, they're going to have really long countdowns. So you should do everything that you can to limit break them as fast as possible. And for newer players starting out, it's going to be a while to get those stones since they'll mostly be from the exchange of crossovers or events so you'll have to wait until you farm them enough. But for free equips that you're able to farm, be sure to max them to get their countdown as low as possible. This will help to improve how fast you're able to cycle your equips, which will in turn boost how fast you're able to clear content. Those are some tips that I have for beginners. These are very general and are just some pointers to make you a little more aware of how the game works. For anyone just now starting, be sure to ask me about any questions that you might have. If you like the tips, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you later.